we're going over how to create a galaxy with Adobe Illustrator, part one. We'll be using the shape tool, fill tool, gradient tool, the color selector, transform tool, and glow effects. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to new file. And I have mine selected in inches, 8.5 by 11. I'm just going to manually put in here um, we're going to do 8 by 8, so it'll be a square. Make sure that it's in inches. Wait for that to pop up. And the first thing that we're going to do for our galaxy is create the background. So I'm going to go to the rectangle tool. And see how it has this little um, arrow at the bottom? So if I click and hold, then I'm going to have other tools pop up. But we want the rectangle tool for our background. And I'm going to swap that color. I'm going to click on the stroke. So see how it came forward? So because the stroke is now in front of the fill tool, that means that I can manipulate manipulate it. So um, I'm going to make that none. And I'm good to go. I'm going to click this one time because I just made this. I know that it's eight by eight. So I'm going to go ahead and put on here eight by eight for my rectangle. Use my select tool to move it over. And you could do whatever color, if you want a color that's a little bit lighter than black, or if you want a dark blue, depends on your project. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create some planets. So I'm going to click and hold, pull up the ellipse tool, and I am going to need to change this to a different color. Let's do a really bright red orange. And I can click and drag. And I can make this ellipse any shape that I want. If I want it to be a perfect circle, then I'm going to hold down the shift key while I have my mouse held down. So I'm holding down my mouse, holding down my shift key, that will allow me to have a perfect sphere. So I'm gonna let go of my mouse first, then let go of the shift key. And to make this look a little more realistic, we can add a gradient. So over here you have different types of gradient. You have linear, radial, and free form. So radial gradient would be like that where the highlight is in the center. If you want to change the colors, you come down here and double click on these circles. You can pick colors this way. And then once you have a color picked, you can go in and pick any one of these here. Let's do like a bright blue, okay? And that is my highlight. This right here is my midtone, so I can change that. I can move it so I can have more midtone, less highlight. And then this is my shadow here, and I can change that color too. So if I want to go to the color picker, I can make it a darker blue. Um, I could do some complementary colors here. That looks pretty cool. Bring that back to where it was, bring in some more highlights and some more mid values. And I like the way that looks. Um, you can also add a stroke to it if you need to. I personally wouldn't. But you can. Um, you should have under stroke, you can change it to be 1.2 point, three points, and you see how it's becoming more thick, uh, the more points that you're going to give it. And I'm going to take that off because I don't want to stroke. Okay, so from here, um, a lot of our planets are going to have a glow effect. So I'm going to go to my select tool. It's already selected. And I'm going to go to effect, stylize, and give it an outer glow. You want to make sure that the color selected is a color that's bright and that you can see. 
So you see it gave me a glow. It's 75% opacity. So I can change that to 100% and it gets a little bit more dense. Um, and then I can also change the blur, how wide I want it to be. So that is all up to you. You do need to use the glow effect at least once on this project. So I'm gonna click OK and click out of that. And that's what one planet looks like for this project. We're gonna be doing four different planets for this project. Um, and I'll show you how to use the symbol sprayer in the next video. So that's all I have for you guys today.